In just a moment, X minus one. But first, how does one man get himself into so many impossible situations? Well, this is a question you'll probably ask yourself tomorrow night when you follow another hilarious misadventure of Throckmorton P. Gildersleeve. Yes, Gildy's eye for the ladies and his impulsive temperament managed to entangle him in a web of riotous circumstances. Be sure to join the Romantic Water Commissioner, his neighbors, Judge Hooker, Mr. Peavy, and all the loyal Gildersleeve household as they romp through another episode of The Great Gildersleeve tomorrow night. And now stay tuned for X-1 on NBC. X-1 salutes our Philadelphia station. Its new call letters, WRCV. Countdown for blast off. X minus five, four, three, two, X minus one, fire. From the far horizons of the unknown come transcribed tales of new dimensions in time and space. These are stories of the future, adventures in which you'll live in a million could-be years on a thousand maybe worlds. The National Broadcasting Company, in cooperation with Galaxy Science Fiction Magazine, presents... X minus one... Tonight's story, Skulking Permit, by Robert Checkley. August 16th, year 2204. Two, Central Colonial Administrative Authority, Alpha Centauri Sector. From Colonial Contact Inspector 37. Subject, Planet New Delaware. Following the procedure outlined in manual for contact with lost colonies, open communication by interstellar radio with New Delaware. This is the first contact established in 200 years. And proceeding on overdrive for personal investigation, situation on New Delaware appears unconventional, to say the least. Hi. Hi there. Hi, Billy. Hi, Tom. Got no time for talking this morning. Got to get this sign up. It's a real pretty sign. No aliens allowed within city limits. What's an alien? Beats me. The mayor told me to put it up. He says to me, Billy Painter, you're chief of police, so I want you to paint me a big sign and set it right in front of the town hall. Aliens. Aliens. Oh, it's a real pretty word. Billy, Billy Painter, I thought I told Take you. Take it easy, Mayor. I put the sign up. It's not that. It's the church. I painted it just like you told me. I know, I know, but you painted it wrong. I painted that church with a nice bright red. What's wrong with that? I looked it up. It's a little red schoolhouse, not church house. Churches are supposed to be white. Can't keep track of them all. Schoolhouse, church house, jail, post office. Got along fine enough in New Delaware for 200 years without them. I know, I know, but we need them now, and we haven't got much time. Where are the carpenter boys? I saw Sam and Marv over at Ed Beer's Tavern. Well, Billy, you go down there and tell them that they've got to build us a little schoolhouse. And, and you paint it red. It's very important. The mayor, when do I get a police chief badge? I read that a police chief always gets a badge. Make yourself one. Now go on. All right, then. Oh, it sure is hot here. I don't know why the inspector couldn't have come in winter. Oh, Tom, Tom Fisher. Yeah? Uh, Tom, I've got a job for you, a very important job. Well, now, look, Mayor, I'm on vacation. Fish won't be back in these waters. No tomorrow. vacation, not now. He's due any day. Uh, Tom, how would you like to be a criminal? I don't know. What's a criminal? Well, come over to my house, and I'll explain. I've got to appoint a criminal, and it looks to me like you're it. <laughs> You don't mind sitting right next to the interstellar radio, do you? I'm waiting for a call. Thought that thing was broken. No, no, it, it wasn't broken. My father told me always to leave the monitor on recording in case. Just didn't seem to be anybody calling, not for 200 years. Not since that war back on Earth. Oh, oh that, it's time now. You just listen, Billy. They said that they would call just at this time. New Delaware. 
You, Delaware, do you hear me? You, Delaware, come in immediately. Yes, 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 we hear, we hear you. He's very touchy. This is Colonial Inspector 37. As I told you in my broadcast yesterday, there's been no contact with the outer colonies for some centuries due to unsettled uh, conditions here. But that's over except for a little mopping up. Now, you, New Delaware, are still a colony of Earth and subject to her laws. Do you acknowledge that status? Oh, yes. We, we called a town meeting last night and talked it all over. We're still loyal to Earth. Excellent. That saves us the trouble of sending an expeditionary force to reconquer you. However, as colonial contact inspector, I will be obliged to make a personal investigation to make sure that you conform fully to the customs, institutions, and traditions of imperial Earth. Imperial? That's funny. All the books talk about Earth as a united democracy. A lot can change in 200 years. And, of course, there's been a war. Do you hear me, New Delaware? Oh, yes. Yes, sir. We hear you. Do you realize, of course, there is room for only one intelligent species in the universe? Man. All others must be suppressed, wiped out. We can tolerate no aliens. I'm sure you understand, General. I'm not a general. I'm a mayor. You're in charge, aren't you? Uh, yes, yes. Then I... you're a general. I'll be sure you're running an Earth colony, General, with no radical departures from the norm, such as free will, free speech, free elections, or anything else on the proscribed list. It is impossible to administer an empire where everyone does as he pleases. Get your colony in order, General. I will call to inspect you in exactly one week. That is all. Well, you see how it is, Tom. Now, Tom, about your job. I'm appointing you town criminal. I don't see why there has to be a criminal. That's a very important part of Earth society. All the books say so, Tom. The criminal is as important as the postman or the, or the police chief. He works against society. If you don't have people working against society, how can you have people working for it? How can there be any more important jobs? I don't want to do it. Now, be reasonable, Tom. Put yourself in my position. This inspector comes and he meets Billy Painter, our police chief. He asks to see the jail. Then he says, no prisoners? How can I hold my head up and tell him that we don't have any crime? No crime, he'll say. But Earth colonies always have crime. Don't you see that, Tom? Uh, right there, the whole thing falls through. He'll see that we're not truly Earth-like. We're, we're faking it. We're aliens. And you heard what he said about being rough on aliens. Well, yeah, but why me? You can't spare anyone else. And you've got narrow eyes. Criminals always have narrow eyes. Well, they aren't that narrow. Tom, please, we're all doing our part. You, you want to help now, don't you? Oh, I suppose so. Fine, you're our criminal. Here, I've, I've got this paper all made out for you, just to make it legal. Skulking <laughs> permit. Uh, no, all men by these presents that Tom Fisher is a duly authorized thief and murderer... He is hereby required to skulk in dismal alleys, haunt places of low repute, and to break the law. Yeah, what's the law? I'll let you know as fast as I make them up. All Earth colonies have laws. Oh, well, what do I do? You steal and kill. Look, I'll, I'll give you a couple of books on it. Steal as much as you like. Uh, one murder should be enough. Don't overdo it. Well, it don't sound sensible somehow. Well, I... you can work up to it, Tom. Why don't you start off easy like by... Haunting a place of low repute. Hello, Tom. I hear you're our official criminal now. That's right. Uh, I have a beer. How's it going? Well, I've been studying. I can't put my finger on it yet. Hey, did you get the weapons Mary Carpenter sent over? Yeah, a hatchet, a spear, two knives, and a blackjack. Uh-huh. I stuck myself with a spear, Ed. The whole thing ain't sensible to me. I can't figure out what's the purpose of crime. What do people get out of it? Here's the beer. I tried a new route this time. Tell me how you like it. Hmm. Very dry. Less filling. How come you ain't out thieving now, Tom? Oh, I'm planning. My permit says I have to haunt places of low repute, and that's why I'm here. Well, this ain't no place of low repute. You serve the worst meals in town. No, no. My wife can't cook. But there's, there's a real friendly atmosphere here. Uh, the folks like it, Tom. It's all changed, Dad. I'm making this tavern my headquarters. It's now a criminal lair. Mm, try to keep a nice place and a lot of thanks she gets. Hi, Tom. You steal anything yet? Oh, well, not yet, Mary, no. I'll have a paracoola, Ed. Don't worry, Tom. You'll catch on. If anyone in this village can learn, you can. Sure, we got confidence in you, Tom. 
Why don't you steal something right now, Tom? Go ahead. Well, I suppose I could. I brought some geefers in my basket. They're real ripe. You could steal those. Well, they are nice-looking geefers, Mary. Real tasty. Go ahead, Tom. Steal it. Well, I... <clears throat> These are nice-looking geefers. Mind if I take one out the light and look at it? <laughs> no, Tom, you go right ahead. Now, just a minute there. Hi, Billy, what do you have? I'm on official police business. What were you doing with that geefer, Tom? Just looking at it. I don't think you were just looking at it, Tom. I think you were planning on stealing it. You're a suspicious character. I think I'd better lock you up for further questions. No, 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 Billy. What are you doing? I'm doing my duty, Mayor. Tom here is looking mighty suspicious. The book says... I know what the book says. I gave you the book. You can't go arresting Tom, not yet. But there's no other criminal in the village. Oh, Billy, don't you understand? This village needs a criminal record. Acting suspiciously isn't a crime. All right, but I was just trying to do my job. I'll still get you, Tom. Remember, crime does not pay. Hey, that's a real slick way of putting it, isn't it? I thought it was kind of catchy. I read it in the book. Well, Tom, go ahead now. Steal something. Well, I'm not in the mood anymore. Well, better get to it soon, and don't forget the murder. Is it really necessary? Oh, I wish it weren't, but this colony has been here for over 200 years, and we haven't had a single murder. Not one. Well, I suppose we should have one. No, I'll take care of it. Good boy, Tom. We're counting on you. Billy, I want you to paint up a couple hundred signs saying private property, no trespassing, violators will be prosecuted, and a dozen saying speed limit 35 miles an hour. Why? All we got is those quag horses, and they won't go faster than a walk. Never mind. You've got to have a speed limit. It's civilized. Well, that's the last of the signs, Billy. You might as well get some sleep. Aren't you going home, Mayor? No, I've got to get out to Fred Farmer's. I appointed him postmaster since nobody ever sends letters around here. I promised to help him write all those letters. Well, good night, Mayor. I guess I better be making my rounds. Yeah, good, good night, Billy. Who's that? Tom? Tom Fisher? You out thieving? Who's there? Don't move or I'll shoot. Hey, Tom, come back. Hey, what's going on out there? What's all the racket? It's the town criminal, Ed. I think I heard him robbing your house. Yeah? He's made his getaway now, but don't you worry. I'll get him yet. All right, but get him in the morning, will you? Some of us are trying to sleep. Morning, Marv. How's the schoolhouse coming? Fair. Would have come along better if I had my saw. Your saw? Yeah. Left it leaning against my door last night. Wasn't there this morning, Tom. Oh, yeah, your saw. Well, you know how it is, Marv. I had to practice some skulking last night. Yeah, sure. Say, do you suppose I could use the saw for a while, just for an hour or two? Well, I don't know. It's legally stolen, you know. Well, I'd give it back. I wouldn't keep anything that was legally stolen. Well, it's in the house with the rest of the loot. Okay, I'll go borrow it then. Tom, I've been looking for you. Morning, Mayor. Did you steal my bronze plaque? I certainly did. Oh, well, I was just wondering. You did it just in time. You see up there? What? What's what? there? The black dot near the rim of the sun. Oh, what is it? Well, I'll bet it's the inspector ship. You, you got your murder planned? Time is running short, Tom. The inspector may land any hour now. That darn radio has been yapping at me something about a revolt at Deng Four, and all Earth colonies are to prepare for uh, conscription, whatever that is. So let's get that killing over with. I don't know, though. Murder... Now, look, Tom. Criminals on Earth commit dozens of murders a day and think nothing of it. All this village wants of you is one little killing. Is that too much to ask? Now, who will it be, Tom? Oh, uh, I guess I'll kill George Waterman. Why? Why? Why not? What's your motive? I thought you just wanted a murder. Who said anything about a motive? We can't have a fake murder. On Earth, every murderer has a motive. Well, I don't like the way George walks, never did, and he's noisy. No, sometimes. no, no. That might be good enough for a crime of passion, but you're a legal criminal. Tom, you're ruthless, cold-blooded, and cunning. You, you can't kill someone just because you don't like the way he walks. That's silly. I better think the whole thing over. Well, don't take too long. Oh, and Tom, don't forget to leave clues. They're very important. <laughs> Mm -hmm. 
Have another beer, Tom. Oh, I don't mind if I do. Hey, how do you like the way I fixed the tavern over? I hung up dirty curtains, you know. Oh. That makes it a dismal retreat. Because I figured if this was going to be your headquarters, it ought to be a real criminal's lair. How do you like the bloodstains on the floor? That's only Billy Painter's root berry red paint. Oh, I know, but it looks like bloodstains. Hey, how's the murder coming? Oh, not so good. No, I've been thinking about it, Dad. Do you realize I'm supposed to kill somebody? I'm supposed to make somebody cease to exist. I mean, like, take Marv Carpenter. Here he is today working on a schoolhouse, big fella. Now, if I kill him, well, he wouldn't work anymore. I've been trying to imagine it. Marv Carpenter lying on the ground with his eyes glaring open and his mouth twisted and never going to hold a piece of wood in his hands again or never going to sing a song or have a beer or anything. What just made me kind of sick. I mean, I could go on with the thieving, but murder... Yeah, yeah, I know, but, Tom, it's your job. It's for the good of the village. Murder. I better have another beer. Hey, what's that? That must be the inspector's ship landing. Come on, let's go see. Room in a guard, advance. Set up portable generators and rocket launchers. All personnel restricted to immediate area of the ship. Sidearms to be worn at all times. And guards at battle station. <laughs> Welcome to New Delaware. <clears throat> Thank you, General. I'm the inspector. Uh, this is Mr. Grant, my political advisor. Is this the capital of the colony? Well, I'm afraid there's only this village on the whole of New Delaware. Only one? Now, Grant, I told you when we surveyed the planet we were wasting our time. Patience, patience. There's always an advantage in every situation. If you gentlemen are ready... Ready? Uh, you're going to inspect our village, aren't you? Inspect? I can see it all. Why, of right... course, General, we're ready. Let's inspect your village. <laughs> You see, we've got it all. Jail, post office, church, little red schoolhouse. Oh, we're very normal. Very earthy. Huh. Rent, I have my efficiency rating to think of. This place is worthless. No smelting, no heavy industry, no atomics, no taxation, no... no. They don't have anything. Oh, I wouldn't say that, Inspector. Uh, if you'll excuse us, General. Of course. Of course. I'll be downgraded at the next colonial board. Why, why this place is a, a utopia. It's subversive. We ought to blow it right out of the sky. Oh, no, don't be despondent, Inspector. But this whole trip is a total waste of time. Not entirely. New Delaware has a very important commodity for us. What? You saw them? Hulking peasants? Nothing but farmers. Yes, strong, healthy farmers. Good cannon fodder. But, but... Oh. Oh, let me take over. General. Yes, sir? How many able young men are there in the village between the ages of 15 and 60? Why? You see, General, Imperial Earth is engaged in a war. The colonies in Deng Four are revolting against the authority of Mother Earth. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Uh, we need good, healthy fighting men. <clears throat> uh, our reserves are uh, depleted. We wish to give all loyal colonists a chance to fight for Mother Earth. We're sure you won't refuse. Hmm. Most colonies welcome a little conscription. Mm -hmm. Cleanses the blood, reduces crime. Crime? Oh, I thought that would come up. We've taken care of that. I appointed... Now, you see, Grant, 60, 70, perhaps 100 recruits. Not such a waste of time coming here at all. Perhaps not. Mm -hmm. Sergeant, detail a squad of 50 men armed with portable heat generators to post a guard in the village. All right, Mr. Mayor... Suppose we go talk this problem over. Tom? Tom, you out there? Yeah. I've been skulking out here all day. I'm hungry. Well, I brought you supper. The mayor sent you a message, Tom. He said to hurry up at the murder. He's been stalling the inspector and that nasty little Grint man, but they're going to ask him. They're sure to. All right, all right. I'll get around to it. Tonight. <laughs> Hey, wait a minute. Oh, hello, Tom. What are you doing? Well, you said there had to be a murder, so I... Now, I'm... wait. I didn't mean me. It can't be me. Well, why not? Well, for one thing, somebody has to talk to the inspector. He's waiting for me. Someone has to Billy show Payne him how to... can do that. You think a knife would be more fatal in the heart or in the throat? Well, nothing personal, of course. Wait. 
If there's nothing personal, then you have no motive. Oh. Well, I guess I could think of one. I've been pretty sore about you appointing me town criminal. It was the mayor who appointed you, wasn't it? Well, sure. Then look, I'm not a mayor anymore. I, I'm a general. Look, it's stars, gold braid. Well, what's that got to do with it? Well, you uh, missed the ceremony this afternoon, Tom. Inspector said I had to wear a general's uniform. It was a very friendly ceremony. All the earth men were grinning. They were winking at me and at each other. Oh, congratulations. But you were the mayor when you appointed me criminal, so my motive still holds. Yes, but killing a general isn't murder. It's mutiny. Oh, oh, well, I'm sorry. That's all right. It's just that I've read up on it, and you haven't. Well, I'd better get back. The inspector wants a lot of the men that he can draft. Are you sure this murder is necessary? Oh, yes, yes, absolutely. Just not me. No luck, huh, Tom? Oh, I just can't do it. Ed... I can't kill anybody in the village. I grew up with them. I've worked with them. I've drunk root beer with them. I don't have any motive for killing any of them. I know, but you do have to commit a murder, Tom. You don't want to let the village down. But I can't kill the people I've known all my life. No, I suppose not. Wait. Wait a minute. I got Mm -hmm. an idea. Ed, suppose I kill the inspector. What's your motive? Oh, it would be a very terrible crime. I'd be killing for glory, for fame, for notoriety... And it'll show Earth how uh, earthy New Delaware really is. Why, they'll say crime is so bad here that a criminal actually killed their inspector on the very first day. Tom, that's just the sort of thing a master criminal would do. Oh, you think it's a good idea, huh? I think it's great, Tom. But how are you going to do it? Well, one of those soldiers got drunk in a bottle of your Keebler juice and dropped his gun. I picked it up. Oh, is that a gun? Yeah, you push this button here. <laughs> hey, look oh, out! I'm sorry, Ed, I... Oh. Now I'll have to get the carpenter boys to fix that hole in the roof. Oh, well, I'll be careful. Did you kill the soldier? Of course not. No point in killing the wrong man. Well, I better get going. I'll wait for him on the path between the mayor's house and the ship. Good luck, Tom. Thanks. Up, two, three, four... Keep in line there. Ah, what a sloppy crew. All left feet. Well, it's a nice night's work. With those landing parties dying like flies, we can use every new man we can get. Shh, don't say that. What, are you afraid the mayor will hear me? Don't be ridiculous. The completely passive population. Sheep-like, obedient. Look at them. No two of them in step. Well, what do you expect from backward agrarians? Wait till those sergeants get hold of them at the base. They'll whip them into first-class fighting men in no time. Paul! Stand and deliver! What's that? Why, it's Tom. Hands up, Inspector. Huh? I got you covered. Now, the rest of you, drop your guns and move out of the way. What? Now, see here. Now, go on, now, drop those guns. Now, what's the meaning of this? And who are you? Tom Fisher. I'm the town criminal. I'm going to kill the Inspector. Now, please move out of the way. Criminal? So that's what the mayor was prattling about. Now, I know we haven't had any murders in 200 years, but I'm changing that now. Now, move out of the way. Well, I suppose I'd better get out of the line of fire. No, no, wait a minute. Wait. Now, don't move. I know just how to do it. I've been thinking about it. Now, I'll push this button, and you'll die. You'll fall down on the path, and your eyes will open, and your mouth twisted, and no air going in and out of your lungs, and no beat to your heart, and I... I'll, I'll... I can't do it. Here, here's your gun. Take it. I don't want it. Quick! Quick! After him! Sergeant, take a squad and search the forest. Take it easy, Inspector. This whole planet is forest. 10,000 men couldn't find him if he doesn't want to be. But I'll have him hanged on the spot. Oh, I'm terribly sorry. Sergeant, have the entire ship's company turned out. General, I want all your people out looking for him. Shoot on sight. Kill him instantly. Oh, we couldn't do that. Although we appreciate the compliment. What? What? That man... He's a criminal. That's what I'm trying to explain. I appointed him. We, We had to have one. You what? You mean... You had no criminals? I, well, I'm afraid not. Oh, I'm terribly ashamed. You see, we knew how uncivilized we were, and that's why we did it. I'm dreadfully embarrassed that Tom couldn't handle the job. Well, why did you give the assignment to that particular man? Well, I figured if anyone could kill, Tom could. He's a fisherman, you know. Pretty gory work. Oh. And he wasn't able to kill the inspector. Well, we just haven't had to kill anything for 200 years except fish. The only animals on New Delaware are small grass eaters, and they're not good to eat, so we never kill any of them. Then the rest of you would be 
equally unable to kill? We wouldn't even get as far as Tom did. I want that man found Forget and... about it, Inspector. What, what? You better get away from here. You want men in our army who can't kill? Oh. Think of it. The morale problem. Oh. The possibility of infection. One man in a key position endangering a key ship or maybe a whole fleet because he can't kill. It isn't worth the risk, Inspector. Yes, sir. But, sir, I see what you mean. Order your troops back to the ship. We'll take off at once. Tom! Tom, you can come out now. Tom, they're gone. He's hiding around here somewhere, Mayor. Yeah. Tom! Tom! Here I am. I'm sorry I bungled it. Well, don't feel bad about it. It was an impossible job. I'm afraid it was. I thought that just possibly you could swing it, but you can't be blamed, Tom. There's not another man in the village who could have done the job even as well. Hmm. What are we going to do with all those buildings, Mayor? The jail, the post office, the little red schoolhouse, the church? Well, I think we'll build a playground for the kids with swings and slides and sandboxes for them. Another playground? Surely. Why not? Well, I guess I won't be needing my skulking permit anymore. No, no, I guess not. Oh, well, we did our best. I had the chance, and I let you all down. It's not your fault, Tom. Look how long it took Earth to get civilized. Thousands of years. And we were trying to do it in two weeks. Well, we'll just have to go back to being uncivilized. Yeah, yeah. Well, we better get back to the village. Looks like rain. Well, soon I'll start fishing again. Say. What is it, Tom? Oh, it's too late now, but it's too bad I didn't think of it before. I might have been able to go through with it. Think of what, Tom? I think I could have done it. If I'd only had the sense to think of the inspector as a fish. Well, it's too late now. Guess he's just a big one. He got away. <laughs> You've just heard X-1, presented by the National Broadcasting Company, in cooperation with Galaxy Science Fiction Magazine, which this month features an unusual story by James E. Gunn, Cylana, a story of what happened when crime suddenly invaded a crimeless society, and where the only way to catch a thief was to manufacture a thief. Galaxy Magazine, on your newsstand today. Tonight by transcription, X-1 has brought you Skulking Permit, a story from the pages of Galaxy, written by Robert Sheckley and adapted for radio by Ernest Canoy. Featured in the cast were Dick Hamilton, Wendell Holmes, Joe DeSantis, Joseph Boland, Alan Hewitt, Bill Quinn, Mandel Kramer, and Ruby D. Your announcer, Jack Costello. X-1 was directed by Daniel Sutter and is an NBC Radio Network production. Let's visit Fibber McGee and Molly tonight on the NBC Radio Network.